Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. The SNP are in a lot more trouble than they think with their policy. They are obviously, um, they exist purely to create independence. And at every stage, whenever asked about what Scotland would be like when it's independent, it's been forced to lie. And the reason it's forced to lie is that the truth is so appallingly awful. Scotland would be bankrupt. It would be friendless. It would have trouble trading with anyone. It would literally not have any of the requirements of a nation state in place. It couldn't put them in place simply because it hasn't got the people to do it on the scale at which it would need to maintain um, an economy in comparison with its size. In other words, if it wanted to carry on with an economy at the same rate as it had today, it would have to almost double, if not treble, its population virtually overnight. And unless people are going to be uh, having a good time and getting on down, you know what I mean? Uh, it'd have to be mass immigration. And that, of course, then would lead to all sorts of problems. Just have a look at uh, England over the last week or so. One of the lies that they're telling is pensions. And this one is a biggie. This one is huge because they maintain that uh, people who paid in in Scotland and paid into the pension system all their life will get their pensions from Britain. No, they won't, because that's not how pensions work. People working today pay their tax to pay the pensioners today. You don't pay into your future pension. That's not how the public sector pension system works. Your private system, if you want to get one, your private pension you pay in, that's exactly how it works. But for, you know, the state pension, its workers today pay the pension today. And of course, if Scotland becomes an independent country, well, people in England say, won't be paying Scottish pensions. Scottish workers would have to pay Scottish pensions. Now, given that, what, one-fifth of the population of, of people in Scotland already work for the state, and of course, if you're going to create all these other posts and positions to run the state, even more people would have to work for the state. One-fifth of the population are children and don't work. One-fifth of the population are pensioners. That would effectively mean that two-fifths of the population would have to work and be taxed to pay everyone else. Ain't going to happen. Especially if, as I say, a lot of those two-fifths would have to go and work in the state as well. And so you'd be, you could possibly even be in a position where 20% of people work to pay for the other 80%. I think people would leave. Certainly people with skills would leave as the tax rate would have to go through the absolute roof. But the Information Commissioner has come out and he has embarrassed the SNP massively by insisting that they published the truth. And we all know the truth is the worst thing in the world for the SNP. Now, they've actually been threatened. Uh, the SNP government has actually been threatened with uh, punishment, going down to go to court and so forth, unless it complied with the information, uh, the information commissioner's instructions uh, and forced to admit how pensions would be paid for in an independent Scotland. And so they have, because it would automatically, upon um, achieving independence, it would automatically have to be paid in the new Scottish currency, a currency that on day one, would, they would say, would be on parity with pound sterling, and by the end of the first week would be worth 10%, maybe, and by the end of the month would be worth pennies. It would just crumble so quickly because Scotland wouldn't have anything to back that currency. Uh, and this, this secretive government in Scotland, this secretive sleek it bunch of crooks, have tried to hide this for years until now because they're forced to they're forced to confess, really. The father confessor. The Ominoscree of Scotland, the uh, the Information Commissioner, has forced them to uh, to push this out. 
Now, the executive, um, well, it was taken to the Scottish Information Commissioner um, because it was refusing to confirm these details. Um, and now they, 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 like I say, they're having to admit it. But this, this currency, the Scottish currency, would devalue so fast, it would effectively mean there was zero pension. So the pensioners would only have their pension in, you know, Scottish pounds, which would just evaporate to nothing in the course of a very, very short period of time. And so your entire pension might buy you, you know, bag of crisps or something. It's going to fall down so quickly. Now, experts have looked at this. Uh, one of them was a guy called Neil Lovett. He's uh, an independent uh, pension and welfare, uh, in, you know, inspector. Um, and he was the one that went to the government initially and said, please provide the details. And they said no. And he went then to the information commissioner. Um, eventually, after threats of criminal action against the ministers concerned, that's what it took, criminal action against the ministers, which meant the ministers could actually go to jail. They caved and they eventually uh, were released, released this information. They published it. Um, and they had to admit that it's exactly as we've been saying. Day one, it switched to the new Scottish currency and that current Scottish workers would be taxed to pay for it. Um, and Jim Gallagher, who we've talked about before, professor at uh, uh, Glasgow University, he's professor of political science, I believe is the title. He's saying that almost immediately upon its creation, the, uh, the Scottish pound, or Scot whatever they call it, the Scottish pound for the sake of this argument, um, would be devalued almost 30% almost immediately um, and, and, it would, and would continue to fall over time, eventually becoming basically um, junk money or joke money, really. Um, and it would just wreak havoc with the Scottish economy. And you'd see, you know, sort of inflation in the thousands almost. <laughs> Shop in the morning because the prices will have doubled by afternoon. Um, it's it's just it's an example, I think, of a political party wanting something, pushing for something, and not understanding the consequences of what it's pushing for, because they don't understand the consequences. They don't know what they're doing. They have no idea whatsoever. And the one thing that really is. Uh, Great news for the people of Scotland, of course, in all this is it's never going to happen, is it? Independence is never going to happen because even diehard, wild eyed loons of the SNP, when they see and realise the truth that should you get uh, independence, your country will be bankrupt overnight and that your currency will be worthless. It may it may dissuade some of them. There we go. Thanks very much for listening. Take care and goodbye.